Lions game. Yeah. Yeah. Do all his fans. That's how you congratulate him. Okay. Did you like goose? going to do something that I've been putting off, which is make sauerkraut because my levels are running dangerously low. I got plenty of sleep last night. Still tired. It's unfortunate. <sighs> I've got a potato cooking right now, so I've got about 30 minutes to get some exercise, get this lethargicness out. Today's gonna be the first time in about a week that I've actually been able to shoot with my right hand because my tricep was hurting. Man, the weather's like perfect today. Okay, the timer is done. But before I go, I wanna see how fast I can run a mile. Me and Danny were talking about this the other day. I think last time I did it, it was seven something. Let's see if I can break seven minutes. Five minutes, 48 seconds, one mile. I'm done. Oh God, I'm done. Gotta hurry up, get those potatoes out of the oven. I think I was shooting for under seven minutes and I somehow got under six minutes. That's pretty good. I'm still more in shape than I thought I was. Whew. Just got this in the mail. Kingsglaive, Final Fantasy 15. It is a spin-off movie of Final Fantasy 15. Uh, it comes with the Blu-ray, and it also comes with an animated version of another spin-off of Final Fantasy 15. I'm very much looking forward to watching these, and I will watch them with dinner. There's a couple things I've never addressed on the vlog directly. First one is, just now I was washing my clothes. I put everything in a bucket, add some soap, uh, wash it really good, rinse it. Then I put it in towels to get as much water as I can out of it. Then I just let it air dry. The reason that I do that is because those specific articles of clothing are like the only ones that I have. I own very few clothes and uh, they were also very expensive and high quality so I want them to last as long as possible. Um, and then the other thing I don't think I've ever directly addressed is why I do the vlog. So in general, I try to do things for their own sake. For example, I have a YouTube channel, not for the number of subscribers and the amount of fame I can get, 
but because I like making videos. I think there's a mentality that we all kind of have to some degree where we think that things that are good for us are supposed to feel bad or are supposed to be things that we don't like. And I think we can all agree that stuffing your face with junk food can taste really good and be really fun as far as that goes, but we all know that it has a terrible payoff. But there's plenty of foods that you can eat that taste good and make you feel great later. So in the same way, I do the vlog not to, like there's good things I get out of the vlog that are extrinsic to the actual act of making a vlog, such as I've gotten work from it, every single day I get better at it, so it's honing my skills to where I can do other work that I'll get paid for. But the main reason that I do it is because that I love the act of actually doing it. And today when I was exercising, I was realizing that I think a lot of us don't exercise because we don't like the process of it. So we want the results, the extrinsic reward of exercising is looking good, feeling good, blah, blah, blah. But the intrinsic reward of exercising is actually exercising itself and feeling good when you're exercising. So the key is to find exercise that you like doing I don't know how you do that exactly, but um, there's no real point to what I'm saying right now. I was just thinking about that, but to the best I can, I try to do things for their own sake, not for something I'll get out of it. Anyways, uh, enough thoughts. Let's, uh, let's play some music. Okay, that mile took a lot out of me. I'm extremely tired. I'm going to bed. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. There are a lot of mosquitoes out here. And I don't even have anything particular I want to play. I just kind of came out here to, to doodle. God, writing music so hard. Getting eaten alive.